This video will show you how to do a basic search in EBSCO. First, go to the library webpage, slulibrary.stleo.edu. On the left-hand side at the bottom, you will see a link for databases. Click on Databases. This gives you a list of all the databases that you can access at St. Leo, including a small description of each one. We are going to click on EBSCO. There are many different databases inside EBSCO, but we are going to click on the link for all EBSCO host reference databases. Again, you will see that we have a list of many databases inside EBSCO. For the sake of simplicity, we are going to click on Select All, then click Continue. Before you put anything in the search box, scroll down and limit your results to 1. Full text. This tells the computer that we want the entire article on our screen so that we can access it right away. The second box is Scholarly Peer-Reviewed Journals. Your professor wants you to use scholarly journals because in this case these have been reviewed by other scholars in the field who have decided that the information is good enough to go in the journal. Now we can go to the search box and enter our search terms. In the search box we've put in the keywords environment and climate change. Notice that the word AND is in all caps. This tells the computer that we want this to act as a computer command, so we want environment and we want climate change, but they don't have to be right together. Environment and climate change are key words. We're going to click on search, and EBSCO gives us a list of 30,000 articles that match our search. This is way too many to sort through, especially when we only need five or six good articles for our research paper. There are several ways that we can narrow this down. First of all, we can narrow it by publication date. Usually your professor only wants articles that have been published in the last five years. So let's change the date. I've made the start date 2014 and when I hit enter, I now have a list of 15,000. That cut our results in half. A good start, but we still need to narrow it some more. One way we can do this is to scroll down and look at the subject major headings. Notice that if we choose a major heading or the official subject term, this is going to narrow our search to 81 articles. That's much easier. Now we have our list of 81 articles. When we click on the title of an article, it gives us all the information that we need for our MLA or APA citation the title, the authors, it gives us the volume and issue number and the page numbers. There's also a paragraph or an abstract that tells us what the entire article is about. Read the abstract before deciding if this is the article you want to use in your paper or not. When we scroll up, we have two options for full text. The first one is HTML full text. HTML is nice because you can have it translated into another language or you can also listen to it. You can listen to an American accent, Australian accent, or British accent. You can also use this download to download the audio file to your computer or your phone to listen to later. The only problem with an HTML file is that there are no page numbers and some citations need to have page numbers. Otherwise, you have to count the paragraphs. I don't know about you, but I don't want to count paragraphs. Instead, I'll click on PDF Full Text. The PDF Full Text is a scan of the paper exactly as it appeared in the original journal. So this way we have columns and more importantly page numbers. Now, if you decide that you want to use this article in your research paper, there are several ways that you can capture it. You can print it, and printing is free in the library if it's in black and white. You can click on the envelope to email it to yourself. It will also email you a citation for it, which can be very helpful. And the gold piece of paper here does do the citation format for you. Notice that we can scroll down and see APA formatting here. 
make sure that the capitalization of the title is right, that you have the hanging indent and double line spacing if you copy and paste this into Word. If you're using the MLA citation, you also need to double check the capitalization, the hanging indent, and the double line spacing. To look at the rest of your articles, click on Results list in the top left. From here, you can continue looking through the articles and deciding which ones are best for your research paper. If you have further questions, please feel free to contact us at the library. We're happy to help you with your research and writing skills.